everybody, my name is SimK, and welcome back to Mafia 2. We're on Chapter 8, The Wild Ones. Uh, what the fuck? Hey, Vito, rise and shine! Jesus! <laughs> Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. Stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Vito's not having it today. He's just like, fuck my life. Look at that face. He's just like, fuck this shit, man. I just want to lay on my bed and drink booze. Oh, God, I'm so cringy. Uh, okay, let's change our clothes. This is the g outfit I got. Um, before the, uh, Prison chapter, I believe it was time well spent. Yeah, it was a, it was before time well spent, <clears throat> and I like it. I like this suit. Look at that. Oh, it's so swanky. No, no, no. <laughs> Damn it, Vito. I didn't mean to pick up the phone. I meant to open up the door like that. Yeah, I'll just leave all my lights on. No worries. <laughs> Arf, barf, arf, barf. Enough of this bullshit walking. Let's actually run. Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. <laughs> that was Marty. Yeah, that little uh, kid uh, slipped down uh, the street from me. I, I can't do that. Here, so he gave me I lift. tried my best, but I can't do it Let's very go well. Truck. It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. Hey, right, where you're gonna go to Rivers? What? R Riverside. What the fuck is in the back? I, mean, I can't remember what's in the back. Uh, all right. Anyway. Some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, right. You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, very in a stiff. Extra! That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But, uh, everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. So what's the deal? Simple. We just gotta go to a couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the oh, truck back to Eddie right. and get our cut of the take. Piece of cake. Wait a minute. I seem to remember yeah. getting thrown in the clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry, I have done this before. First stop, Riverside. If you say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. What now? Now we take care of our customers. Mm -hmm. These guys here buying bulk for <clears> us. Come with me. Well then. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. Looks like this is the reds right here. Yeah, that's the one. Here. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a cotton of blues. Okay. One cotton of blues, Vito. Bingo. Here it is. A few hours later. <laughs> Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues, as usual? I think I'll take the whites All this right. time. Uh, where are the whites? Get that Vito. Let's go. Caught in the whites. Where are the white? Oh, they're right there. Yeah, that's the one.
Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here. Kid Mark, he works for Eddie too. <laughs> In his dreams. Kid's not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me, drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, if the kid's got you for a little model, he's in for a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, wise guy? He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shit in your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those someday, would you? See, what did I tell you? It's going like butter. Today. All right, this almost makes up for last night. Almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slam. All right, all right. Listen, the next few hours, or anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. Here's <laughs> the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a second. All right, here we are. Hey, a carton of blues, if you please. All right, carton of blues. Give me a carton of blues. All right, end it over. Here. Hi, I'll take a box of reds. All right, reds. Got the reds, Vito. Bingo. Selling, Mac. You're buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fork over ten cartons, and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there, and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf, and it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit. Joe. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, Porky? Who do I gotta say? That's what I Come on, hop in that car and let's go. All right, let's get one of these fucks and teach them oh, a lesson. Oh, boy. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster. That is why you do not fuck with the Mafia. Ah, shit. Now what? Shit. We should check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth and call him. It's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greasers came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, look. Listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. 
All right, we pop one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. We were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though, so it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right, sure, Eddie. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. Said he was pissed. All right, we gotta meet Steve in front of that crazy horse. Good news is he's gonna help us out. Bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All two grand. Shit. You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? I don't know. We'll see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. Oh, Eddie was fucking pissed on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick $2,000 worth of shit out of them. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek. Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie, we all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Artie? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, yeah. uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay. Why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What'd you Shut up, kid. I'm talking here. So <laughs> like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With oh, this. Oh, yes. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. Fuck yeah, I'm in. Let's this go teach shit. these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Motherfucking Marty, man. Oh, yes. This is awesome. <laughs> Oops. Get some of this shit right here. Oh. Okay, that's enough. Let's leave him a little present. Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them okay. in. Okay. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. Ah. Uh. How'd you get in here? We followed the fucking yellow brick road. Oh, snap. Next. Ha, nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! Let them have it! Oh, I'm shit. gonna try to flank them. The 
best. You want a piece of me? Come out, come on. Take out my snub nose. Let's see if I can headshot this dude, yes. Actually, <laughs> legitimately scared of me. Alright, time for part two of this madness. I'm gonna flank him. Okay, got him in the head. Need to get to that gun. Ah, oh, fuck. Dude, get on my face.
Here, right here. Oh, shit. Cover my back. Time to meet your maker, fuck face. Damn, Steve's good. Let's go, Vito. Thank you. Motherfucker just would not die. Oh, he has an MPG. Sweet. Oh no, an MP40. What the hell is an MPG? Listen, this got way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie will be fine. What are we gonna do? Just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody. No more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joy, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Shit, where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I gotta drive this baby over to Derek's. I'll meet you back at the back. All right. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar. Holy shit, 1950? So, is the money. Well, that's a fucking relief. Stupid fucking junkies. Now they know their place. Good work, boys. Here's your cut. Thanks, Eddie. So, you need anything else from us today, or is that it? I got something I gotta take care of. No, 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 that's all for today. I'll call you if I need anything. So, I mean, that's it there. So, I want to thank you everybody so much for watching. As usual, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Check out the awesome content I create, including annotations that have new with this video. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>